foreign students in this session. We will continue with volume and surface area of solids, exercise 21A. In that uh, question number 7. So, what they have given in the question number 7? Sum of the radius, the base, and the height of the solid cylinder is 37 meters. So, radius plus height is equal to 37 meters. Then they are given the total surface area of the cylinder. 1628 meter square. So, what is the volume we have to find out? So, equation number 1. From equation 1, we can take R is equal to 37 minus H. So, we know the total surface area for total surface area is equal to 2 pi R into R plus H. Or we can Use where the R plus H is the R plus H, we can take the first equation. So, the total surface area is equal to 2 pi R into R plus H. So, that is 1628 is equal to 2 into 22 by 7 into R. Into what is our percentage? 37. So we can use cross multiplication. 7, 8, 56, 7, 2, 14, plus 5, 19. 7, 6, 42, plus 1, 43. 7, plus 7, just 7, plus 4, 11. 11,396 is equal to 44 into 37. 37 is 2, 44. 4, 7, 88. 
the next question of the day is they are given total surface area of a solid circular cylinder. Radius also they are given 5 cm. Find out. So total surface area for 2 pi r into r plus h. 2 pi r into r plus h. That is 2 into 22 by 7. Into total surface area also they are 6 into R, R is 5, R means 5 plus H is 3. So now, what about 660 is equal to 44 by 7 into 5, into 5 plus H. This is, therefore, this implies 5 plus H is equal to 660 into 7 by 44 into 1 by 7. We have to tell the reciprocal force. So, 11, 4, 11, 6, 11, 0, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 2, 4, 1, 4, 3, so 21. Therefore, this implies H is equal to 21 minus 5. This implies H is equal to 16 centimeters. H is equal to 16 centi. So this is the question number 8. Question number 9. Find the total surface area of hollow cylinder open at both the ends. If its length is 12 meters, that is length, if they are given means, which is nothing but the height 12 meters. Next, what is the one? Uh, external diameter 8 cm. So, external diameter that is capital D is 8 cm. From cm, this is 8 cm. Therefore, external radius is equal to 8 by 2. That is equal to 4 cm. Next, thickness diameter. So thickness is equal to how much? 2 cm. That is small radius. Small radius is equal to 2 cm. So this is the data that we will find total surface area of a halo cylinder. Therefore, total surface area of halo cylinder is the last form 2 pi into capital R. by into capital R small h plus small r small h plus capital R square minus small r. So substitute 2 into 22 by 7 into capital R is 4 h is 12 plus small r is 2 into h is 12 plus capital R square r square 4 square 16 minus small r square small r square is 2 square 4. So that is 44 by 7 into 12 by 1 for jump, 48 plus 24 plus 3 minus 4. That is 44 by 7 into, so all we have to add 48, 24, 16, 88, 88 by 34. 7 1, 7 1, 7 2, 12 4 the 48, 12 4 the 48 plus 4, 52, 528 centimeter square. So this is the answer for the 9th question. So now now this is the question. So in the question number 10, 
water is flowing under the river. Three kilometers per hour in the so a circular pipe. So in a circular pipe, water flowing rate is three kilometers per hour. That we can take it as height. That we can take it as length or height. Three kilometers is three thousand meters. So what is the diameter of the pipe? There is twenty centimeters. So radius is equal to twenty by two centimeters. That is ten centimeters. Convert into meters per meter. So it is flowing into the circular system. So diameter of the system is uh, ten meters. So radius is ten by two. That is five meters. So depth of the system is for two meters. Let what is the time to taken by the circular pipe? Water from the circular pipe to fill the system. That is nothing but we don't know. It is hexal hours. It is nothing but the hexal hours. So what is the Values you have to take out. First, find the volume of volume of circular pipe. First, volume of circular pipe. Pi R square H. Twenty-two by seven into R is R is equal to one by ten into H. Therefore, we have to equate both the volumes. 
volume of the circular pipe is equal to volume of the system. So, 30 pi x is equal to 15 pi. So, pi pi cancel. If x is equal to 50 by 20, that is 5 by 2 hours. That converted into units, it will become 100 units. So, therefore, 1 hour 40 minutes. No doubt. And it is filled by water shrinking from a pipe of diameter 35 cm. So, diameter is 35 cm. This is all they are all the units meters, therefore, they have to convert into meters. 35 by 100 meters, this implies R is equal to 35 by 100 into 1 by 2, that is 35 by 200 meters. So, height is the water flowing to 6 meters per second, therefore, so height will become 6 meters, or length will become 6 meters. Now, what we have to find out? We have to find out the volume of the cylinder full first. Volume of cylinder full. Cylinder full is equal to length into breadth into height. 70 into 44 into 33. That is 70 into 3 plus 2 into 10 into 44. 0, 4, 8. 0, 4, 0, 4, 8. So 0, 4, 4, 9. 9,240 meter cube. That is the volume of the cylinder. 4. Next, we have to find out the volume of the circular pipe. V is equal to volume is circular pipe. Pi R square H that is 22 by 7 into what is R we wrote 35 by 200 into 35 by 200 into length is 6 5 7 5 40 5 7 5 40 2 3 2 20 right? 2 10 to 11, any other calculations? 7, 7 cancels. Okay. And uh, 11, 10, 7, 10, 3, 40. So it will not be. So 7, 7, 10, 77, 77, 7, 2, 3, 21, 21, 23, 231 by 40, 40. So this is meter. Now they are asking us to find out the time. So time is, is one by time is equal to time is equal to volume of swimming pool by by volume of circular pipe. Circular pipe. So volume of swimming pool how much we got? 9,240 into so instead of dividing I have taken the figure 400 by 231. So if you cancel it, you will get the 160,000. So you will get the 16,000 seconds. But we have to convert into uh, hours. That is 16,000. By 3,600. 16 into 16. We need to So 2 zeros, 2 zeros cancels. So 6, 6. 6, 2 is 12. 6, 2 is 12. Or 2, 1, 2, 8. 2, 8, 2, 0. Uh, next, uh, 2, 9. 40 by 9. 40 by 9. So you have to divide it. 40 by 9. You will get 
4 4 by 9 hours. 4 4 by 9 hours. First we have to find out the value of this in four. Next we have to find out the value of this circle of pi. Then finally the value of this in four divided by the value of the circle of pi. So then we will simplify. You get 4. 